Hey everyone, and welcome to the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. And this is the place where you can develop your ninja skills with all of your favourite creative cloud desktop and mobile design apps. In this movie, we're going to answer, hopefully, a question that has arrived via the interwebs about the map labels that I put a post around ages ago, and it's also in my lynda.com maps course. So just to bring you up to speed in case you haven't seen either of those things, what I've got here is a map label, as you can see. And it's flexible and dynamic. So if I go to small place just here, you can see that I get that label like so. And if I create another one, okay, and do a long place, whoop, plave, long place name like so, then it grows out like that. And how it's built, just to show you, if I go to my appearance panel, okay, so it's got three fills, okay? The first fill is the text on top there. So I deleted the standard text fill, added three new ones. The second one is converting to a rounded rectangle, okay? So that's got the rounded rectangle effect on it and the third one that's got a rectangle effect on it so effectively turning it into a square as an absolute uh, value in fact if i click on it you can see 36 by 36 set to absolute and then it's got two transform effects on it the first effect okay simply rotates it by 45 degrees okay so you've got uh, actually a tiny bit of uh, that's the wrong one actually thinking about it that's the uh, earlier one so this one 100 here it just moves it 35 points down so it pokes out of the bottom there and rotates it by 45 degrees and the second one if i turn that back on that scales it slightly so it makes it narrower on top and everything else there is zeroed out. And the combination of those three things together gives us a label like so. Okay, now they're perfectly identical in that way and they're flexible, but only because the text is aligned to the center. If I aligned it to the left, which I'm doing just now, okay, that may change as, uh, if I do long place town name just there, that's fine with the centering. But again, if I go to left alignment, actually that's gonna work pretty much okay there. But if you do left align text in the first place, then it's unlikely to stick. So how do these labels compare? Well, in fact, they are very, very similar, but the one thing that changes is they're not using point text. They're using area text. Now you can convert any uh, point text object to an area text object by double clicking it. But I did these from the outset by getting the type tool and then dragging an area. And the important thing here, right, is that you go to the maximum depth that you need because the width, very, very flexible. But if you start adding new lines, then your pointer is going to disappear. If I paste in the information that I had earlier, and there's an easy way, by the way, to spot um, an area text from a point text, it's because you've got these little inflow and outflow ports on the side. And then it's pretty much the same deal, okay? What these have got here, just a couple of fills, so the characters have got the default text fill there, um, but there's that with a rounded rectangle like so, and then underneath that, again, a rectangle set to an absolute measurement and two transforms, okay, that uh, move it round 45 degrees and down to where you need it to be, and then another one that makes it a bit more pointy. Okay, and of course you can position that wherever you want because the other thing that's actually on there, if I show you again, is this one moves, okay, around. So that one's exactly, uh, was exactly in the center, but it's been moved 100 points over to the side. If I turn on the preview, you can see that changes. So you can specify exactly where that point is going to go, and it will stay there because the box 
okay, is always going to be the same depth. Make it wider, it doesn't care, okay, particularly, okay, but if you make it deeper, then it will go wrong. But there you go. That's how you can create larger and still flexible map labels. Thanks ever so much for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Reach out to me here or via Twitter or my other places. You'll find those details in just a moment. Do spread the word and I'll see you next time. See ya.